Do you mind watching yourself? Like you just watched that clip right now and it's pretty intense. Are you one of those, because I have some actors come on the show and say, I, I can't watch myself. And I have some that enjoy watching themselves a little too much. <laughs> I'm, I kind of fall into both categories. The yes. first time you watch something, you, you slightly just follow yourself around the screen. Yeah. You know, like, so you don't know what the scene is about. You just You're just only looking at you. Obsess with you. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, how I don't look like George Clooney. I, how do you, <laughs> nobody told me that. Now, I'm curious. I would think we're going on a show like that. Everybody wants to know what's going to happen. And you're in social situations. Maybe you yeah. have a drink or two, and people are trying to get you to slip up yeah. and tell... What's going to happen? Very, what's going to say? It's a, it, it has been a weird nine months for that because I either had people sort of dribbling on me. They got so close to me, offering me drinks and pouring me and stroking me. Or I would walk into a room <laughs> and people would just leave, just fly out in the opposite direction. Why is that? Okay, no, 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 I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. Don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. <laughs> You know, and there's someone else right next to me just sort of going, so what happens at the end of the season? <laughs> <laughs> so I know like, that guy. I couldn't uh, have a normal conversation <laughs> with anybody. Yeah. You know, it's, what's crazy, too, is that there needs to be a time limit. You have these people that haven't seen the, the end, or they haven't watched the last episode yet, because we're in this DVR generation. Yeah, you know, they yeah, watch it, yeah. they haven't seen it yet. Yeah. But a year later, you say, yeah, I was watching Home and... Nah, 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 nah. Oh, I know. And you can't do that after yeah. a year. It's, I've got to, yeah, I know, right, exactly. It's like, it's like the conversation police. Yes. It's like, no, let me talk. Yeah. I want to talk about the show I saw two years ago. Yeah. I'm no, sorry no. you haven't seen it yet. No, we've already just, uh, I'm sure we've upset Andy. I don't know if you're all caught up, but. No, I'm not, I, because uh, when <laughs> I'm, I'm it's, no, but Andy, you know what? What show? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I, uh, no I, I, I did not see this season because we were moving and we didn't have a TV at the time. And then I just, so I let the whole season go by. So this is a big spoiler to me, but I'm a grown up. <laughs> <laughs> you can yeah. handle it. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna get through it. I'll be, I think I'll be all right. <laughs> I love that about you. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, so many uh, English actors uh, have been influenced by one guy, Sir Michael Caine, and I know that you're a fan of his as well. I've always, like, I always loved Michael Caine and dreamed about meeting him. Well, he's, a, he's a legend, Michael yeah. Caine. Yes. Sir Michael, if you please. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah. What's the joke? What's the joke? You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off, is the end of uh, the Italian job. But he gave this master class in acting, which my entire generation of actors, I think, watched, which was always, always look at the eye closest to the camera and don't blink. And so a whole generation of actors just acted like this without blinking. Now I'm going to cry because I really <laughs> want to blink. Really, I know, I, this is it's famous a, advice he gave, yeah. don't blink. Yeah, just, just don't blink. Yeah. So there's, if, you watch, if, you watch, if you watch my generation of actors about 10 years ago, before we realized that you can blink, yeah. and it's okay. <laughs> is it and when when is you it, blink, it's really fun. Is it possible that, that Sir Michael Caine was just saying that to screw up a whole generation <laughs> of actors? <laughs> So he can get all the work. You know, exactly. Like, because, you know, Sir Michael Caine, he's just, he's, he's iconic, isn't he? And he was just, he was just a great, great film star. And he did have that kind of heavy-lidded, you know, very direct gaze. So it was working for him. Maybe he was just trying to tell us all to, you know, teach us how to be film stars in his image. I, I bumped into him once someplace, and he was so great, and he came over to me, and he just said... Uh, and I don't do, that's an amazing Michael Caine, but he came over to me and he said, uh, he, he looked at me and he said, I've got the sunscreen just for you, young man. <laughs> <laughs> and he told me about this amazing sunscreen. Yeah. And I was so thrilled and I like wrote it down and I'm like, I'm gonna get that sunscreen. And then later on I was like, why did he cross a room to tell me <laughs> that I'm the whitest thing he's ever seen? Yeah, yeah.